What's up guys, this is Eddie 47 Yeah, I'm injured today as usual. It always happens everywhere. Uh, this thing you, you call right here is called a, um, a cellulitis, what I believe. Um, at first, I thought I, uh, I had a broken bone. Um, that's what everyone said. I had a broken bone or I had, uh, um, what do you call that? The uh, shin splints. Yeah, I didn't have any of that. Um, then they told me I had a spider bite because of the swelling, increased severe and swelling. It wasn't that either. And after that, I was like, you know what? I got to I gotta go to the hospital. So I think it was like about Friday night. It, I had this for about a week already. And everyone was telling me, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. I'm like, I, I I can't, I can't afford the price, but it got to the point where I had to go to the doctor, so, and that, that moment, I was like, you know, forget this, I really need to go, I have to listen to my gut feeling, and as you can see here, uh, ignore the water, I was scraping it off, I can't really get it in all in there due to the fact that, um, if you can see Yes, that is a hole in there, and that is a string sticking out, and I can't put water in the hole. If not, uh, it will probably infect inside, I believe. Oh, crap, I landed it on there. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so everyone's telling me, go to the doctor, Eddie. We need you to go to the doctor. That's uh, We care about you so much. They need to go to the doctor. I'm like, uh, okay, I'll probably go to Saturday. It was Saturday, ended up being a day early, Friday. Um, uh, they told me, as soon as I got there, they told me it was a skin infection right off the back. They said uh, it was cellulitis and absence. It was a uh, cellulitis, if, if you actually get up, or I'll probably tell you, long story short, it was, it is when the skin uh, irritates from the inside and inflammation occurs. And it was way bigger. It was like this big, about this size of a portion of my leg was literally swelled up, like this big. And it, it was red, bruised. It, 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 I was in pain. I couldn't. I could barely walk on it. And now, um, ever since I went to the ER, uh, well, they drained it. The doctor, I mean, I, I didn't even expect a cut or anything, but, you know, I thought I was going to get antibiotics, but he, like, he, he said, yeah, it's too much, man, we're going to have to drain it. And to think about it, it was pretty red and swollen still, so he wanted to drain it. I mean, he knew who he was doing. So they got, um, they got a numb shot, numbed it right there, uh, got a scalpel and cut it and drained it all off. You could see the yellow, I'm guessing that was the drainage of it I'm pretty sure it's been yellow I'm not sure I wasn't looking because it, I couldn't take it <laughs> I have a weak stomach so he drained it and then all of a sudden um, he cut me open and he I had to insert one of these bandages into there I'm like wait 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 a second what I have a hole in my shin he's like yeah I need you to be a big boy and look and this is what you're gonna do with uh, with one of these cloth things and that, and I, I was supposed to insert it all the way in. The only thing I did insert all the way in, but it hurts like hell. We went from a long string, that's on, on day one of the hospital, to this. I was supposed to change it every 24 hours, and I've been doing that, but the only thing, it hurts like hell. This is a fresh, a fresh uh, string that I took out just like about 10 minutes ago, and now I put the new one. And yet sanitized, so it's supposed to help uh, the healing process, it's supposed to keep it clean, nothing's supposed to get inside. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is cellulitis, that's what they call it. Uh, I never had this happen to me before, it's my first time. First time having a hole in my leg, um, holy, apparently. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, this was six days ever since all this happened, and can pretty much see here the holes right there sorry for the blurry but uh, I'm gonna try to move it if I move it to the left you can easily see the hole there try to get a good angle right there you can easily see where the strings coming out that's where the hole is 
I don't want to I don't want to draw my phone on it, so I'm gonna have to keep it back low. So I'm supposed to keep that intact, keep it safe, make sure nothing goes in it. But I don't think I don't think nothing's gonna want to go in it since you know it's pretty rotten, and I do fear something might go in later on. That's why I'm keeping track of it and making sure not trying to clean up, making sure nothing wants to eat me out alive. But uh. Yeah, so uh, if this happens to you, if you have cellulitis, you, you start developing like reddish, reddish and purplish. Or if you, even if you hit yourself in the shin, you might want to go check this out. Yeah, so get it done before word. <clears throat> and it hurts like hell. I mean, yeah, they may have uh, drained all the thing out, but the fact that I have a hole in there, it hurts like hell. So I have a couple of strings to go. I know that one's unsanitized because I left it on the bed. But, uh, I have to use a new one. Gladly. have all these bottles of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of myself for a while when no one's around. And, yeah. Pretty much have all this stuff. Yeah, there's a mouse. Well, I'm going to conclude this video. Um, I want to thank all my friends for being there for me. Thank my mom. She's the one that took care of me the most. Uh, she's the one that how she helped me the process. I mean, it was a girl's process. I popped the bubble before it was there. It was horrible. Luckily, we got that out of the way. Now we just got to get this cured up and I can get back to my normal life and going back to school. I want to thank my friends for supporting me and motivating me to go to the hospital because I was too hard-headed not to go but I ended up going yeah but they were all wrong because they thought I had something bad but well they knew I had something bad but who knew that it was cellulitis alright guys I'll keep you updated on my leg it's not swollen anymore so that's good I'll see you guys later 8047 out